Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen how we can simulate a real time data streaming service by using Kafka. But that was just for your basic understanding and we just only stream some raw text data from the command line itself and consume it using the consumer application. But in real world it will not help you. So in this lecture we are going to publish some web blocks which we will download from our GitHub repository and write them on the Kafka topic and build a real time data streaming application to stream that data in the target directory. So these web blocks I have downloaded from Kaggle and uploaded to our GitHub repository. So we will download that and set up our consumer and producer application to access that data and write it using the consumer application. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, I have already spun up our SDB sandbox. So just make sure that all the services are running fine and the Kafka broker is also running fine. So second step would be just go to the putty and log in as Maria underscore dev. So you know the password. So the first step would be to go to the Kafka directory. So as you already know, the Kafka directory lies in user sdp slash current slash Kafka broker. So here we have all the directories like bin, conf, config file, as well as the logs directory. So here you have to go to the configuration directory now. So go to conf. And in this directory, you will find the consumer consumer standalone properties, which we are going to use it to make the connection to our weblocks text file, which we will download from the GitHub and connect to our Kafka topic. So we will need this file. And also we have the sync, the connect file sync dot properties and the connect file source dot properties. So in this properties, we will set the paths for our source as well as sync. And also we need to define the Kafka topic here. That means we need to make some modification in these three files. But since this is Kafka directory and we don't want to mess up with our Kafka installation, we can copy these files to our home directory and then we can modify it. So for that purpose, we'll use the copy command. So just give like CP, then we'll copy this file. So just take the standalone properties file and we will paste it in the tilde home directory. After that, we'll also get the sync in the home directory as well and at the last we'll get the source file that's it so we'll go to the home directory now so cd tilde so if you give present directory we are in the home maria dev directory now so here we can use the vi editor to edit some properties in these three files so the first file is connect standalone properties yeah so here we need to change bootstrap server and make it listen to the open port which is 6667 which we have seen in the previous lecture so just go to that path and hit I to insert mode. Just remove it and give the host name as sandbox dash hortonworks dot com colon six 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 seven. That's it. That's all you have to do. So just hit escape to get back from the edit mode and give like colon wq and enter to save that file and do the same for the next file, which is sing dot properties. Just open this file and here you need to make changes in the file and the topic. So in here, just go to the file, hit I to enter into edit mode and change the file name as give the path for the home directory. So give like home slash Maria underscore dev slash and our file name uh, will give like log out dot txt. So this is the same for our file. So we will read all the data or we can say event streams from our source file then write it on the Kafka topic and then again write it back to the consumer in our logout.txt file and on the next line you have to also mention the topic name so again just go into insert and change the topics as we can give anything so we'll give like log dash test so I guess we are done here so just escape and our last file is source.properties go into that and here you have to again change the file name. So here our file name will give it as access underscore lock dot txt. So this is the file which we'll be going to download from our GitHub repository. And on the next line, again give the same topic which is log dash test. That's it. We're done here. Get out from here and we're good to go. We just need to download that file. So you know the command, right? So just give like wget https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com the username slash ashe patil 11 slash hadoop slash 
main which is the branch name slash access underscore log dot txt so this is our log file which we're going to use as a source file so just hit enter and that's it we got the file right so if you give ls you will have the access log dot txt sync source and the standalone properties file so you're all set to kick off your real-time streaming application so the first step would be you need to go to again to the bin directory and kick off your consumer so to do that just again go to cd user hdp current kafka broker slash bin so in this bin directory you need to kick off the kafka consumer file so just go dot slash kafka dash console dot dash consumer dot sh then you have to give the address to zookeeper so give like zookeeper on the local host colon 2181 so this is the port for zookeeper and the topic name so our topic name is log dash test as we have mentioned you know both source and sync so log test that's it if everything looks good hit enter and that's it so your consumer is going to listen to any changes in your log file so now you have to kick off the new terminal now so the next step would be just here is your consumer running and just kick off the new put it terminal so again login as a maria underscore dev and here again you have to go to the bin directory so just go to cd user hdp current kafka broker slash bin and here you need to kick off your connect standalone dot sh file so just give like dot slash connect standalone dot sh and you have to pass all the properties file which is connect standalone dot properties which is present in the home directory then we have the source and the sync properties file which are also present in the home directory so that will go as an argument for this file so to do that just give like path path which is tilde slash the name which is connect dash standalone dot properties then again give the source which is connect dash file dash source properties give again tilde slash connect dash file dash sync dot property so that's it so if everything looks good just kick off so this will take about a second or so to connect to kafka so it is running now so if everything is fine it will pick the data from our access log dot text and publish it to our kafka topic so as you can see all the logs from access underscore log dot text file have been published to our log test topic so this was happened in a real time so what we have done is we have built a real time streaming application where we have set up all our properties file where we have defined sync dot properties which has the target file and the topic and the source source dot properties which has the source which is nothing but our access log file which we got from kaggle and the topic which is again the same one which is log test and all the data from access log file have been published to our kafka topic so I hope you got a clear idea how Kafka works under the hood and how it publishes records in real time on a topic and then we can build a consumer application to further process that data down to get meaning out of it. So this was just a simple tutorial for your understanding around Kafka and you can also explore more when we will cover Kafka in detail in our upcoming tutorials. So if you have any doubt in this just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.